but I'm very thankful for your generous support and comment which bring me back to make more videos for you all and uh, today I'll be sharing a small topic and I hope you like my explanation and do like share and subscribe my channel so here we start so today we'll be taking a short uh, topic from a chapter evolution of class 12 so it's a topic last topic we can say that's origin and evolution of man and it's a very hard topic to remember so here we start so it says that about 15 million years ago uh, there were two primates were found primates they were known as dryopithecus and australopithecus 15 million years ago we have a primate that dryopithecus and ramapithecus so uh, there were some common features between them that they were hairy walk like walked like gorilla and chimpanzee and uh, uh, they were uh, there was one difference between them which is mostly asked in both board exams and neat examinations that dryopithecus was more ape like and ramapithecus was more man like okay this you have to remember more man like and dryopithecus was more ape like so for remembering like more man like Rama, Rama means man, we know all uh, this. Now next we are coming that uh, there were man like fossils which were found. In Ethiopia and Tanzania. They were having hominid features. About three to four million years ago. So uh, uh, the, they were man like primates and walked in Eastern Africa, walked in Eastern Africa. And not, uh, they were not taller than four feet. But there was one positive point about that, uh, about them that they walked upright. So next, we have Second, we have uh, two million years ago Australopithecus. They were found in East African grasslands. So, what was the difference between them that they hunted? with stone weapons and ate fruit so next in about some changes occurs so changes in bones were uh, seen in them And uh, they were known as Homo habilis. First human like being. And they are having brain capacity. Between. 
650 to 800 cc cc is cranial capacity but they don't eat meat so now next we have uh, there is one important line written under ncrt please do underline this line fossils discovered in java in 19 sorry 1891 it revealed the next stage that is uh, it revealed the next stage which we'll be hearing or seeing so next after the discovery of fossils in java we have next uh, stage which we got in 1.5 million years ago and they were homo erectus what were their features that they had a large brain about 900 cc brain capacity and probably ate meat so it's not confirmed yet that they ate meat it's written probably they ate meat okay next we'll be seeing about uh, 1 lakh means 40,000 to 1 lakh years ago they are Neanderthal man so their brain capacity was 1400 cc and now uh, over here there is a change in the place also so they were seen near east and central asia and what were the features new features that were discovered in the neanderthal man after an evolution was that they hide and protect body and if a person get uh, dead over there so they used to bury them so buried there dead so next we have homo sapiens next we have homo sapiens over here so homo sapiens they came yeah arose in africa and they uh, what were the one more important feature that they moved across continents and developed into distinct races or caste okay so they were found in between 75,000 to 10,000 years back so uh, one more important point which we are having in NCRT that you have to remember uh, you my uh, you should open your NCRT and page number 141 there is a picture figure 7.11 there is an important line written over there that many people or many students leave those lines the important points which really come in all competitive examinations so it's written skull of baby chimpanzee is more like adult human skull than adult chimpanzee skull so you have to underline this line or highlight in your book only Okay, next one more, a uh, few points are left, which I'll be covering, just few minutes are left. So, prehistoric cave art developed. When did 
prehistoric cave art developed in about 18,000 years ago okay and uh, now we have cave paintings uh, cave paintings by prehistoric humans can be seen so cave paintings can be seen in uh, Bim Bhim Betka rock shelter in Racine district of Madhya Pradesh and last point which you have to note it down is agriculture came 10,000 years back so uh, we have completed our video now and here's a small request I'm in search of name for my YouTube channel and I want you all to help me finding out best name for my channel so please comment or uh, please suggest a name uh, in the comment box so please do like share and subscribe my video and i'll be uploading more videos from first june as i promised thank you everyone bye bye